Hello, everyone, and welcome to the New York Empoleon's Week 8 Battle of the UBL Season 3. It's been a little while since I've last recorded. It is a new apartment, a new place. You guys are finally getting a chance to see it if you don't watch my Twitch stream, where we have already revealed it a couple of times. Um, that being said, there's a new mic that I'm still getting used to, so if the audio quality isn't perfect, uh, I'm working on it, and I promise you, it's getting there. We're going to have this in frame for the rest of forever because it's a nice podcast mic, uh, so it actually does require to be very close to my face, um, but I think it'll be more fun and I can do some fun things with it. So anyway, we are taking on Sky Rander this week and the uh, Scandinavian Stoutlands. We are going to... Uh, I forgot to pull up his thing. So we're going <laughs> to pull up my matchup right here and do this extraordinarily professionally. So... His team is Kiram, Black, Zeraora, Gyarados, Chandelure, Gardevoir, Beware, Gligar, Virizion, Barbarical, Skuntank, and Mega Scizor, with Gyarados and Virizion being his two possible Z users. Um, and the first thing to notice is he had the same symptom that I did when I first drafted my team, which is that he has Mega Scizor, Gligar, Gardevoir, Chandelure, and Gyarados, and Skuntank all between base 75 and base 85, um, and then not a ton of mods outside of that, nothing below 68. And aside from uh, Zeraora, really, and Brizion, nothing above 100. So, certainly things to keep in mind. Uh, we want to outspeed that base 95 here in black. That's where Charizard comes in. It is a Dragon Dance set, so it will outspeed Zeraora at plus one. It'll also outspeed here in black. Scarf here in black, if I can get to plus one. Uh, D Cloth, Flare Blitz, and Earthquake is coverage for basically his entire team. Gyarados is still a threat, and Gligar still can tank hit, so I do have to make sure those things are whittled down. But getting them there and then being able to set up with Charizard basically means that I can win the game if I play it correctly. Next up, we have Heracross. Heracross is Close Combat, Earthquake, Knockoff, Mega Horn, Choice, Scarf. Heracross is coming this week. It has enough speed to outspeed Zera Aura without um, it being Scarfed, obviously. Uh, and then I bumped a little bit more speed so that I could potentially uh, speed tie with a uh, non-timid slash jolly Kiram Black that is start. So um, we are going to be able to hit his entire team with close combat, basically. Uh, the, the things stopping it, like Gligar, are going to be... Uh, don't want to take a knockoff, that's for sure. And uh, Gardevoir also doesn't want to appreciate a Megahorn or a knockoff, so... Coverage for basically everything on his team. Close combat is incredibly spammable, though, so hopefully that is going to be the thing that I can click the most. Next up, we have Skarmory coming this week with Taunt, Stealth Rock, Iron Head, and Roost. It actually has a decent amount of speed investment to outspeed an uninvested Skun Tank, um, or even a 4 or eight, uh, 12 speed invested Skun Tank, um, and can Taunt to stop Defogs from that. His Gligar, which also outspeeds um, without investment. Uh, it stops his Gyarados from kicking Dragon Dance if he doesn't have speed investment in it. I don't know why he wouldn't, but if he doesn't, then it does do that. Um, so Taunt is incredibly useful. Uh, Stealth Rock is just good against his team in general since it hits the Kyurem, the Gyarados, the Chandelure, the, you know, he's got lots of weaknesses to it and basically no resists. Uh, and then Iron Head I thought was better than Brave Bird. Even though he has a Virizion, I just think Iron Head has generally better coverage and hits the Kyurem harder, which is really important to me. Next up, we have Coco. This is going to be one of more... So this is where the team gets a little bit more interesting. Uh, so we've got Coco with the Assault Vest. is Mild Nature, and he's going to be Dazzling Gleam, U-Turn, Hidden Power. Uh, let me check, honestly, what Hidden Power it is, um, because I can't remember. It is Hidden Power Ice. Um, so it is going to be able to hit the Virizion. Uh, it's going to be able to hit the Gligar, things like that. Uh, and then Quick Attack there for the Zera Aura specifically, uh, or Scarfed Kieran Black, or something that is rampaging through my team and just has that sliver of health. And you know how often you end up with that sliver of health left in a Pokemon, and you're like, if I only could get it, I am running Quick Attack Coco this week for that specific situation. Next up, we have uh, my Scolipede, which is going to be Protect Spike, Super Power, and Aqua Tail. Um, Super Power plus Aqua Tail has pretty good coverage for his entire team. Yes, it can be played around a little bit, but that's sort of not the point. This thing is also sort of just there to set up spikes. Um, and spikes stacking against him, if I can, like, it'll help me weaken everything that isn't Gyarados and Gligar. Uh, and the Kieran Black, I would appreciate, you know, even just 12%. Even the one layer of spikes on it every single time it switches in is good. Uh, if I can get 25%, that's out of this world. Especially with rocks, uh, that could be 50% on the Kieran Black on switch. And that is an insane amount of value, and I definitely want to pursue it. And finally, we have my Slowbro this week, which is going to be Sassy, holding the Wakan Berry for something like the Kiram Black or Zera Aura, slapping it in the face with an Electro-type attack. It's got counter for that exact situation. Either of those smashing me with an Electro-type attack or Scizor coming in and clicking U-Turn or Bug Bite, uh, which, we which we can survive. We counter, we kill, we win. 
game over. That's not how that works, but I mean, it's close enough. We have Thunder Wave as well on this set to make sure that we can hit uh, basically his entire team, which does not appreciate Thunder Wave uh, and can be paralyzed, and I would love to make things slower. And then Scald is actually pretty good coverage for anything that otherwise doesn't well, otherwise would switch into a slow bro uh, and lastly a slack off just for recovery purposes uh, we've got regenerator so that we can re generate health anyway this is the first time I'm doing this with this is the first time I'm doing it with this setup so hopefully you guys enjoy please give me feedback if the audio quality isn't great I'll notice it in post but I definitely want your feedback if I think I've done what I can do and it still isn't awesome uh, I'm using audacity for the first time too so I'm actually recording with two software so we'll see how all this goes but thank you all uh, for joining me and hopefully you guys do leave some comments and tell me what you think about it and I will get you guys situated with that battle see you in a sec Okay, well, we're going, we're jumping in. I just, like, wasn't paying a lot of attention, and here we are. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, my God, I need to stop doing that. Welcome back, everyone. I was paying no attention because I'm using Audacity, and I was testing things out. And we're facing off now. We are going. Gligar's not here, which is amazing. Uh, that's really, like, all I have to say about it. Um, there's no Shandy either, which I find really surprising that he wouldn't bring a Fire-type when facing my team down. But Zero Aura, Kieran Black, Barbarical, Mega Scizor, Gardevoir, and Gyarados are the team... That we're facing, um, I do think Hazard Stacking is a real option since his only form of removal is Scizor, is Mega Scizor. Uh, and I don't necessarily see that being the most reliable thing. I can just lead off with my um, Heracross, straight up. Uh, that would certainly be a good option. Um, Gyarados has to come in and take a whole bunch of damage, and if Gyarados comes in, then I can just go out into my Slowbro. Uh, so I actually don't see that being too bad of an option. I know I don't have, uh, like, the, mock, the, the, what did you call it, boost? Um, but that's, that is what it is on some level. I have to just be okay with not having Moxie this week, uh, or not having Moxie. I have Moxie this week, not having Guts this week on my Heracross. So Heracross to Gyarados. Let's just take a look. Um, not Mega Gyarados, regular Gyarados. It's doing about 30% with close combat, uh, after an Intimidate, which is, it's workable. Uh, Zorlog is Barbarical. Okay. Um... So I can just kill you with close combat straight up, and that's, I think, what I'm going to try to do. Earthquake doesn't quite take you out, and it lets in the Gyarados totally scot-free, whereas close combat at least hits this. If Gardevoir switches in, I just switch out then. Um, again, I have uh, I have other things to, to switch into those, like Slowbro, um, if needed, but uh, it depends on if I think he's going to go for a Moonblast or a Psychic, which I don't actually know which he'd go for. Probably Moonblast, in all honesty, but... How could I possibly know that? They both are super effective. Um, but anyway, I think close combat's free, and Gardevoir's still going to take a huge chunk of damage. I don't actually know if I'm turning myself this way, if my mic's still going to pick it up or whatnot. Uh, not Mega Gardevoir. It really thinks that everything on his team is Mega. Um, so he is Focus Sashed or Sturdy. Uh, Focus Sash, okay. So it's, it's popped. It's Shell Smash. I'm reasonably sure and I can check my prep here but I'm reasonably sure that a plus two max speed barbarical so is if he's jolly will outspeed me but a plus two max speed adamant will also outspeed me even scarfed here. Um, I have the quick attack on my Coco. I also have Rocky Helmet on my Scarm, so that's what I'm going to go into here. Um, no reason to sack off my Heracross at this point. He knows that I'm not Flame Orb, uh, which is good and bad, I guess, in a way. Um, X Scizor is going to come out, and that's going to hit my Skarmory, uh, do literally nothing, even at plus two, and he's going to take Rocky Helmet damage. Uh, so we see X Scizor. And down goes Barbarical, so Skarmory, sort of? I don't know. Bar Barbarical dies to Rocky Helmet. Skarmory is what I'll write. Um, and he goes out into his Gyarados. Why? What are you going to do to my Skarmory? Taunt? Is that what you're going to do to my Skarmory? I mean, Dragon Dance in my Skarmory's face, is that what you're going to do to my Skarmory? Um, Dragon Dance wouldn't be great. 
Won't lie. I could taunt here. He can get one Dragon Dance off. Um, but then I force him to attack me. I think that's my best play. I'm going to taunt here. Um, and we actually outspeed. Which is crazy. He actually is not running speed investment. Uh, and he was going to taunt. So he taunted his taunt. <laughs> and actually outsped. So Skarm outspeeds his Gyarados. Got to keep that in mind for later. He can't taunt me now. And we have enough speed investment out of speed. I'm just going to Stealth Rock here. He can't Dragon Dance. He can't really do anything to me uh, offensively. So uh, I'm just going to be free to Stealth Rock. If he goes for a Waterfall, fine. I'm honestly not worried about that at all. Um, and he actually goes for a Scald. What? <laughs> what is that? Okay, so Scald Gyarados is here right now. Uh, and is Taunted. And I am Moxie, right? Not Guts on this. I just want to make double check that. Yeah, I am. So I'm not going to go into my... Uh, I'm not going to go into my Heracross here. I could go out into my Coco at this point. Um, or I could go out into Slowbro, which doesn't care about the Taunt at all. The, the, not the Taunt, the Scald at all. Um, and can... If it's burned, it, it's fine. Um, it's, it's literally not the end of the world at all. Um, and I do have the Scald that I can just freely spam as well. Uh, I really wish I had Toxic right now on this, but I don't. So I could Roost and just accept the fact that if Skarm gets burned, it gets burned. Um, because, but I'm not really doing anything. I'm not really gaining any momentum at that point, if that is my, my option that I choose to go with. Or I could go out into my Scolipede here uh, and start setting up Spikes. But then again, he can always just Defog later. I think Coco does threaten him the most. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go into Coco here. Um, I don't have an electric type attack. I honestly didn't think Gyarados had a great matchup, and you can see how much he had to finagle getting a set that would even be, like, reasonable against my team. So I'm surprised that, uh, that he's got it. But he does have the Scald. He can be a Z move. I have to watch out for that. It could be, like, Z Earthquake right here. Um, Taunt wears off. So he could Dragon Dance if he really wants to. I'm just going to click, I think I just click U-turn here, um, and scout out if he has the EQ. Um... So I can either go out into Skarm again or Charizard at this point. Um, since I don't think he's going to Scald into my Coco, it's either EQ or Switch Out or Dragon Dance is really what I would expect. Uh, and there's the there's the Retreat. Uh, possibly Zeraora predicting the Electro-type attack, and it is. Uh, the Electro-type attack I don't have. Uh, so this isn't even really a read. It's just literally I don't have an Electro-type attack. So uh, there you go. Uh, Gyarados, did it show Intimidate? I don't think it showed Intimidate, which means it's Moxie, I think. Uh, I'm just going to write Moxie question mark. I wasn't looking closely enough to, to actually notice, I'll be honest. Um, now, I don't expect him to be Scarfed Zeraora, in all honesty. I really just don't see that being his best play. So I could go out into my uh, Heracross here. Does Megahorn kill from here? Megahorn does, if he's not defensive, does 77 min. So I could just go out and Megahorn. Um, Gyarados coming in would be whatever. I could close combat as well. It does the same amount. Earthquake actually, actually does more. But Gyarados, Gyarados coming back in is just annoying because I really don't have a great switch into it. Um, whereas I can... So I like... If, if he comes in for free knowing that I'm Scarfed... Um, then I have to go out into like Slowbro, which doesn't super threaten it in any way. Um, although he doesn't seem to be an offensive set that's going to like Dragon Dance and sweep me. If he has Dragon Dance, his only move that he can re receive with it is Earthquake, and I do still have the Skarm. So I could knock off here, knock off whatever item the Gyarados is holding, since I do think that is his switch in. But I think Megahorn is just my best play. Uh, and he goes for the Plasmus. He actually Scarfed. He Scarfed Zero Aura. Okay. So Scarf. Plasma Fist. And that just straight kills. I'm really, really surprised um, that he Scarfed Zara Aura, but that's fine. Um, so Zara Aura kills Heracross with Plasma Fist. Um, that is what it is on some level. Um, I can just go into Charizard here and Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance for free. Um, two Plasma Fists should not win. I'm Mega Evolved do all that much. Uh, he has to be Scarfed because I had enough speed to outspeed non-Scarf no matter what. So I know he's not banded. Plasma Fist Adamant does 
Um, and I straight kill him without even Dragon Dancing. But I could just Dragon Dance here um, to make sure I outspeed everything else and potentially sweep from there. So I'm just going to do that. Even though he does get two Plasma Fists off in Electric Terrain, um, it's not going to 2 a KO. Um, and I could theoretically Dragon Dance twice. Um, there's a Plasma Fist. It's in Electric Terrain. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't 2 a KO. And I recognize that he still outspeeds me, but we see that that didn't 2 a KO at all. Uh, and so if I Dragon Dance again, then Dragon Claw should take out a Gyarados at that point. Uh, even if he's defensive. Actually, if he's fully defensive, it wouldn't even it wouldn't take him out. So I guess there's no real well, there's no drawback to it. I mean, I'll still do it. I'm at I'm at the same amount of HP either way. Um, and yeah, I was gonna say his only way of potentially winning is just switching out here. So that's the Gyarados, I think. Did I see Intimidate before or not? It must be Intimidate. Yeah. Okay. It is Intimidate. Um, I forgot about the rocks actually, which changes everything. Because now I do kill. Um, and there's the leftovers, as I would expect him to have. Uh, but I can Dragon Claw here. Which has a very good chance of killing. Depending on his spread. So he's really defensive. Toxic. Okay. So I'm I outspeed his uh Zeraora though. Um and Toxic shouldn't wear me down fast enough to kill. So I can flare blitz here in case he goes Gardevoir to try to stall out turns of Toxic. He might have the uh might have protect. Taunts called Toxic Protect would be quite a, quite a set. But uh, I think the more likely play is him going Gardevoir on the Dragon Claw, so I'm just going to Flare Blitz. The little bit of HP doesn't really end up mattering. He does have the Protect. Um, I could have Dragon Dance there. That would have been fun. Uh, I thought about it, but he hadn't shown Protect yet, so... Um, I take a little bit of Toxic here. But Flare Blitz uh, should kill literally anything he switches in, so he has no... He has to let something die. He's probably going to try double protect because that's really his only play. And if he hits it, it means uh, Charizard gets one fewer kill. Um, he actually just switches out, goes out into Elysia, which is the Gardevoir, um, which traces Tough Claws, which doesn't matter. It would be remarkable if this thing could survive a Flare Blitz at plus one. I will not lie. I will not lie. That would be insane. Um, and down goes the Gardevoir. So... Mega Charizard X kills Gardevoir with Flare Blitz and Recoil plus so uh, Mega uh, I think I died to Recoil Charizard X dies to Recoil but if it dies to Toxic it's from uh, the Gyarados and I wasn't looking closely enough to actually know which one it died to so it's 4-4 four, four right now Zero Aura is still an issue because it is Scarfed um, now he could go into it right here. That would probably be the thing that I expect him to do the most. I'm going to go slow bro here. Uh, and if he goes there or I click counter hundred times out of a hundred. Fulgore. I also click counter on this. How much does knockoff do? I'm expecting him to U-turn on all honesty. Um, Bug Bite has a very small chance to kill me. Very small. Um, U-turn would not. It would do a lot, but it wouldn't kill. Uh, knock Off doesn't kill. So I'm going to counter. And whatever he chooses to go for here, assuming it's not Swords Dance, uh, would be fine by me. Although I don't think he Swords Dances in front of a slow bro. I just don't see that. Uh, yeah, there's the U-turn. So something's dying. I don't know what, but something's dying. Um, that is Max Attack Adamant Mega Scissor, I'll tell you that. 
Um, that is 100% max attack Adamant Mega Scizor. But what's he going to let die in front of a Slowbro? Because counter <laughs> Galvatron, is that this Kyurem? All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, happily. I will happily take the Kyurem. Uh, so let me just, let, before I like write it down, let me just make sure this actually kills. Yeah, so Slowbro kills Kyurem. Black with counter. Oh, the best feeling in the world is when your Slowbro counters. Oh, that's such a good, that's such a good feeling right there. I'm not going to lie. He's going to take a little bit more Stealth Rock. I can now switch out my Slowbro and get some HP back. I have Skarmory to come in and take hits from this this thing all day. My tech worked. I still have it again if I need to because I have the Wakan Berry and can switch that thing in and out a couple of times if I need to. There's the U-turn once again into the Skarm. Does nothing. Uh, take some Rocky Helmet. He's going to go into his Terra Aura at this point. It's super obvious to everybody involved. Um... But Skarm literally stops the that thing from winning the game 100 times out of 100. So uh, I could just go out into my Scoli here. I don't think Scolipede is super necessary this game. Um, with the set that I brought, it certainly isn't. Um, I would love to not go into it and not get the speed boost twice, is the honest truth here. Um, but if I, if I go into Scoli, then I go Slowbro... Then I get the recovery back. I'm going to have to sack something at some point. It's a matter of whether or not I sack Coco, Skarm, or Scully. Does Coco die to Plasma Fists? I don't think so. Let me just check that real quick, like. No, Coco doesn't die to Plasma Fists from the range it's at. Um, so I actually think Skarm is the thing I should sack. Although... With Skarm going down, uh, Scizor becomes just a major issue. So Scolipede's significantly less useful to me um, in the latter stages of this match. Um, since Coco can Dazzling Gleam and then Quick Attack uh, and take out the Zera Aura. So I will try for the... I guess I'll try for the Double Protect. Uh, unless this doesn't do 50%, which it should. Uh, I mean, I will try for the Double Protect here because I have nothing to lose by doing it. Um... This isn't a Z-Mon for him, uh, and so if I get it, then I can kill this, and that's great. Um, I'm also getting Black Sludge Recovery back. So we're going to try for it. If he switches out into Scizor or something, that's whatever. Uh, it's a good read, I guess, in that particular case. Um, Bullet Punch probably doesn't kill me from there. Probably, actually, it's Max Attack, Adam and Mega Scizor. What am I saying? Uh, no, actually, if I can get this uh, Double Protect, then it doesn't kill. So I'm going to go for it. Um... I missed my double protect. It happens. I mean, that's kind of like the game I play. I don't expect... I never expect it to work. Um, I'm not counting on it. You know, like, that's what I'm... That's one thing that's really important about this particular play is that I'm not reliant on it. It was just a an alternate possible play. So, Zera Aura kills Scolipede with Plasma Fist. Um, and then I'm just making sure that it took my Coco in Electric Terrain, Plasma Fists. Uh, doesn't kill from this range. 0% chance to kill. Uh, we know he's Scarfed, so we know he's going for it. We're in Electric Terrain. Max does 96 damage. Um, so we do survive. And we are going to be able to click the Dazzling Gleam here. Um, as long as I have Skarm, I can 1v1 Mega Scizor uh, easily. Um, now, the one issue is that I really have nothing specific for the Gyarados. But I do have taunt on my car on my skarm uh and Slowbro can theoretically just take scald since that's his only offensive option um and he can't toxic skarm you can only scald it and i can roost uh, and taunt for days uh so in theory once this goes down he's also going to be at extremely low health um but this shouldn't kill plasma fists should not kill there's a zero percent chance this kills just don't do anything wonky here, game. All right, that's all I needed. Uh, I don't think Dazzling Gleam's going to kill. There's a roll, depending on his investment, um, that does, but I'm not... Okay, it actually did kill. Uh, that's that's a roll, um, but I have Quick Attack, so the roll didn't end up mattering. Uh, oh, gosh, what did I just do? I just tried to print out my 
Goo no, 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 don't send a chrome print. I don't know what just happened. Oh god. Oh god, I didn't even, I don't even know how, what the button sequence is for that. Uh, I think it's control P, and I think what I did was my chair hit the control button. Uh, <laughs> I think my chair hit the control button. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to write and speak. And I hit the P in Tapu Coco, and it tur tried to print out my, my document, which is wrong and not how it's supposed to go. So I'm going to go Skarm here. Coco has value to me left, uh, even though it doesn't have an electric type attack. Um, I, I still just have to go Skarm here. Uh, and he's going to take Rocky Helmet every time he does that. He might have Roost on this, which would be annoying. If he's like Roost, I'm actually going to Taunt here. Either way, I win this if I Taunt. Um, he can't Roost, and he can't Swords Dance with this, and he can't do anything with Gyarados either. Uh, so yeah, there's the Roost, and I do outspeed it. So now it's my turn to just click Roost. Um, since he is probably just going to switch it out, that's fine. Um, he's going to take 25%. He's going to Intimidate me. Uh, he's going to go down to the tiniest sliver of health. Intimidate me, but if I Roost... Um, I just win this game uh, eventually. War of Attrition right here. Um, dude, Fast Skarmory putting in the absolute finest of work. Um, he's got the leftovers, which is annoying. Um, I can't just like let this thing leftovers up forever. Um, but I can taunt if I want to, or I can just Iron Head. I mean, worst case scenario, he scalds and burns. Best case scenario, he flinches. Um, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, he goes for the taunt. Okay. Um, so Skarm is taunted now and will only Iron Head. Um, but he's not getting any actual leftovers back for this. So eventually he has to go back into Scizor. Which he could do right now. Uh, actually, would probably be his best play if he went directly back into it. Flinch. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're doing this forever, because he's... I'm actually... I don't think I'm doing more than the damage that he's recovering. Um. So I think my best play is to go into Slowbro here. Uh. If he Toxics, he Toxics. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to be honest. Um. Because if he Toxics, then I slack off on the turn that he protects. Or I switch out into my Coco. Um. I just can't take a Scald with a Coco, so I don't want to just, like, hard switch that in. Um. But I can take it with a slow bro. And if he burns me, then he can't toxic me. No burn. Um, this is a free scald for me. I think scald should do more than leftovers. I hope scald does more than leftovers. It's clearly a physically defensive Gyarados. Uh, so there's... there's re <laughs> And then if, if not, I still have a chance to burn him. Uh, and so I'm definitely going to scald here. There's the toxic. I'm not going to stress too much about the toxic. Please burn, because then I at least negate his leftovers every turn. Uh, I know he's protecting next turn, so I can either switch out or I can go for a slack off. Um, come on. Come on. Get the burn. Get the burn. Get the burn. Oh my gosh. This game. Just let it end. <laughs> I respect it. No, I respect this so much. I respect him playing every out he possibly has. Um, I can slack off here. Um, he hasn't taunted me yet. If he taunts instead of protects, that's a huge play for him. Um, but I can still switch out and regenerator. And I still have the Skarm at like full health. The one thing I don't see him doing is Scalding. So I could go Coco here and just finish off the Gyarados with a Dazzling Gleam. But if I lose Coco, I mean like losing Coco means I can't break the Gyarados like at all. And that's a bad thing. So uh, I think I'd rather just click Slack off on his Protect. Yeah. Um... So he gets a little bit more leftovers. I just need, I just need the Scald to burn. Um, I just need my Scald to burn. If his Scald had burnt, that would have been 100% game. His leftovers are so annoying, though. Uh, he can't break through my team. My Skarmory stops both of his Mons from killing anything. But I just need, I just need the Scald to burn. Then I can go back into Skarm. Uh, and then I'm fine. There's the Scald from him. If Slowbro starts taking too much damage, I just go Skarmory. Um, I just... Come on. Get this Scald burn. There's been so many Scalds this game, and none of them have burnt yet. Just just one here. Just one right here. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. 
Um, he's going to protect here. I'm going to switch out. Uh, I really have no reason not to. I just go Skarm. Uh, it's just... Uh, I could go Coco there, honestly, probably. Um, I'm going to Taunt here, I think. Oh, he's back to like... A healthy amount. I I'm not intimidated, so I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna iron. I'm just gonna iron head. I just straight iron head. I'm actually back past where. Uh, I'm doing more than leftovers now, because I'm not intimidated. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Right here after me missing it twice. Oh, he doesn't. Wow, this is literally insane. This is pure and true and honest to god insanity right here. That there has been no scald burns this entire game. He's protecting. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Alright, 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 alright. He's gonna scald here. Not protect. I go slow bro. I go slow bro. And then I double out on his protect into Coco. Because that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna protect. He's gonna scald this turn. And then next turn he's gonna protect to get toxic damage. He's not done anything differently, and he's done nothing to prove to me that he's going to do anything differently in the future. Uh, so I just go slow, bro, and then I immediately go Coco. He's not gonna. He's not gonna predict that. He's not gonna know. And the question is, does Coco kill a Gyarados with a Dazzling Gleam? And the answer, my friends, is only maybe. Although Scald doesn't kill me because I'm Assault Vested. Unless he burns and gets a high roll. Oh, he does double Scald. Are you kidding me? And he burns. And he burns. Watch this. No! Wow! This is insane. This is actually crazy. Uh, Scald does not kill. He does double Scald there. That's pretty That's pretty nuts. Uh, but I just Dazzling Gleam. I don't have the Electro-type attack. He thinks I win when I click the Electro-type move, but I don't have it. Uh, and he's going to see that right now when he protects, of course. To get more HP back. Um, this is... I can't believe that I didn't get the Scald Burns on the Slowbro. I didn't... I need a Scald to burn on the from the Slowbro. I mean, I do, but I need... Uh, he's, he realizes now that I don't have an electric type attack. This is still going to do a decent chunk. Don't get me wrong. But he's going to be able to take out my Coco, which should never have needed to happen. Gyarados kills Tapu Coco with Scald. Holy cow. I just need... I legitimately just need... He's going to protect first. Um, he's going to protect first. I just need this burn at some point. I mean, honestly, at some point, I will get it. And as soon as I burn him, as soon as I burn him, he's not getting leftovers recovery. He can't stall. I can't Thunder Wave because then uh, he can always just protect stall and get leftovers back. I can't do that. I have to burn him. It has to be a Scald burn. Um, and he can taunt all he wants or anything. I'm literally not clicking anything but Scald until I have to switch out for the Toxic and then I go into Skarm. Uh, and then come back into Slowbro immediately. Uh, I just need him burned. I just need him burned. Because then if he's burned, I can go Skarm and I can Iron Head. Flinch him. Eventually win. I know that I could get burned by Scald, but it doesn't matter because he will be losing health slowly. This is insane, though. The number of Scalds that didn't burn uh, is actually out of this world. So please, please. The statistical odds of this game still happening is so low. Burn him. Just burn him. One burn. Thank goodness. Okay. Now he can't recover with any leftovers. Uh, he is burned. He is slowly being whittled down. I just need to keep Skarm and Slowbro alive and healthy for the Scizor. Um, specifically, Skarm actually needs to be healthy. Um, I don't know if he's even going to bother protecting here, if he's going to switch out, what his what his play is. Um, I don't actually remember if his Scizor... His Scizor probably isn't arranged to, to live one attack. So I could go hard Skarm here. Uh, 
Skarm is more important than Slowbro to beat the Scizor. 1v1. I could... I could... I'm just gonna Scald. Uh... He, pr he does protect. Um, I'm not sure. I guess it's for Toxic. Um, that's fine. Uh, toxic will... We'll rack up a little bit here. But I'm not going to go Skarm on this, on this Scald here. I'm just going to Slack off. Then I'll go Skarm next turn. Um, oh, he does Taunt this time. That's a good play. It's actually a very good play. Um, because now I'm forced to go, forced to either sack or go Skarm, uh, and he knows he's going to Scald. Actually, he's going to Protect. Ooh, what's he going to do? He's going to Scald. He's going to Scald. I'm going to go Skarm anyway. Um, I still have to do it. It's still my best play, even if, uh, because I want my Slowbro alive, is honestly the God's honest truth of the matter. Uh, I think that's important to have Slowbro alive. And there's the Scald. Yeah, he knew I was going to do it, but... Doesn't mean I didn't have to do it. Um, doesn't burn me. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, I can ta I can uh, Iron Head here. Because <laughs> he's not getting HP back. So, and he doesn't kill with this next Skull. Just, just flinch him, and then it's fine. There's the Skull. He doesn't kill with it. Um, there's the burn, of course. Of course, now there's a burn. Um, which means I have to roost. Because he could protect. Although I don't die to the next turn of burn. So I could just, uh, I could just Iron Head here. But no, I have to roost because I need my Skarmory. I need Skarmory alive for the Scizor. There's no two ways about it. Um, he's gonna either taunt or scald. Trying to stall out my Skarmory. But since I outspeed, because I have enough speed to outspeed, uh, that roost goes off. Which is huge. That's a very, very big roost right there. Um, and because I'm burnt, uh, my best play here is just to click Iron Head and hope that it kills. I'm not even sure it will. Um, this battle, I'm so sorry to anybody watching. I mean, I'm trying to take the turn as quickly as possible. It could have been over so long ago if the Scald Burn had happened far sooner. Doesn't, doesn't kill. Oh my gosh. Scald. Okay. Um, and now he's going to protect... Well, actually, does he protect here? It doesn't matter if he protects here or not. Um, does it? Because it's the last turn of Taunt. Oh, no, there's one more turn of Taunt after this. Ugh. I can switch out. Because Skarm can still take a hit. He's going to protect here. I switch out. Uh, and then I Scald with my Slowbro. And even if he protects again, it's either Taunt or Protect, and it's a 50-50 call, and... Oh, he just goes straight for Scald here. Okay. That's sort of surprising to me, because I expected him to Protect to stall out some burn, but... Because putting putting my Skarm in range of his Scizor is sort of his win condition right here. Um, he can Protect at this point, or he could Taunt. And again, it's a 50-50 call, and I don't feel like making it, in all honesty. Um, now, I can go back to Skarm... I can't go back to Skarm, because if he Scalds, uh, then I lose, so... Um, and that would be... Losing this game would suck, so... Uh, slack off seems like the best play here. But I think he's gonna taunt. I do. Um, yeah. Taunt is his best option. That's mine. Uh, is just to Scald and take out this thing, finally. My god. Okay. So, Slowbro... Kills... Gyarados with Scald. Now he roosts. That's the big thing, is that he roosts here. Because if he doesn't roost, then he loses. So he can't take out my Slowbro. And he can't attack directly. Although, Skarmory wins a 1v1 with Scizor. Handily. So I'm just going to click Thunder Wave. Oh, I'm taunted. I have to Scald. Okay, I Scald. That's fine. Uh, he roosts. Just burn this thing. If you burn this thing, Slowbro, then all is forgiven. Uh, then all is legitimately forgiven. Because Skarm has Taunt and can wear this thing out. There's no burn. Are you kidding me, Slowbro? How do you not burn there? Um, okay, I still... I just let Slowbro die. 
I have no choice. Um, if he attacks, he attacks. If he doesn't, he still roosts. Uh, he swords dances. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, but I scald here. Burn him. Burn him. Burn him. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And Slowbro actually should die here. Which is best case scenario for me. Um, because I don't... Oh, Burn dies. He dies. It's over. Skarm is still alive. We win the game. <laughs> Slowbro dies to Toxic. Uh, Mega Scizor dies to Burn. Uh, the Toxic was from the Gyarados. Uh, okay, this this was a this feels weird, guys. I like I don't know, man. This the end game was weird, and it's from the slow bro. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Um, I don't even know what the audio is doing or my video is doing or anything. I am testing out new software. This is my first first video in a new apartment, and boy, was it a video. Um, so if you guys stuck around through that entire ending. Thank you all so much for watching. I legitimately was not prepared for Stall Gyarados uh, and Zero. I mean, Scald Burns came enough. There were enough Scald Burns to win the game. But, I mean, there were so many Scalds that didn't burn. I have to do the count. I'm so curious how many Scalds didn't burn between the two of us because we were firing off Scalds left and right. Anyway, wow. We're, it's done. We are 4-4. Four and four. Uh, We are... I think last week we were three and four and we actually ended up in like eighth place, which is a playoff position. So four and four should keep us there. Uh, we have to keep winning in order to stay there, but we are still very much alive in this season. I, we're probably, I mean, we're definitely not going to win uh, like first seed, but I mean, all we have to do is make top eight. That's what I've been saying since the beginning. And I think we're still in a position where we can do that. So we've got a couple more battles coming up in the regular season. We just have to keep picking up wins. And if we can do that, we are good to go. This is a one Oh tight win. I think his team prep was pretty phenomenal uh, and very out there, but um, Honestly, that was just a super crazy battle. So thank you all so much for watching. I am just going to go take a nap. Honestly, I just, I, that battle just wore me out. <sighs> thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Take care, everybody.